Hey everyone, thank you so much for coming to my channel, D vs. Debt. This is D, and it's Savings Challenge Sunday, which means it's time to put some money away. If I sound more nasally or more of a mouth breather than usual, <laughs> I'm struggling. I just got in from walking my dog and I had like tears pouring down my face. But they're happy tears because basically spring is here and like my body can tell. So my allergies are going bananas, but I'm so thrilled because I'm so ready for spring. I do not like winter at all. So before we get going into the savings challenge, my first set of money that I'm going to be putting away is actually going to go towards my debt. So this is a sweet card from Sanya at Lil Annabelle's Plans. She's going to be having a giveaway and it's going to be for a $5 credit to my Etsy shop. So <laughs> I feel kind of guilty. At the same time, I'm delighted though. She, for those $5 credits, she asked, well, how am I going to pay you? And I said, you can pay me with D bucks. So she happens to be collecting dollar bills. And this is where I feel terrible, y'all. <laughs> dollar bills with the letter D as well as I am. Hers though are for her husband. So that's her husband's initial. But I was like shameless and I knew she was collecting those Ds. So I was like, hey, you can pay me with those. So technically I'm stealing these from her hubby. <laughs> so Sonia, thank you very much. That is so sweet. So what I'm doing, if you're new to my channel, basically any dollar that I come across or that someone sends to me with the letter D on it, uh, they all have letters between A and L. And so I save the ones that have the letter D and I'm going to collect them for the entire year. Ooh, my voice is starting to crack. I sound like Peter Brady. Again, allergies, y'all. So I'm going to collect them for the entire year. And then at the end, December 31st, 2022, I'll count them up. And that's going to go towards my debt. So that is where those 5D bucks went. So Sanya, thank you very much. If you're interested in her channel, go ahead and subscribe. Like I said, she's about to do that $5 credit giveaway for my Etsy shop. We're going to start off with bingo. Let's see what the wheel picks. Right, 11 bucks, not too shabby. So there is, bam. All right, $11 goes into my first savings envelope. There goes the one. There is already a $100 placeholder in there. So that is tucked away in the bank. So 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Ooh, exactly $150. So when I hit my next $100, then I'll put another placeholder in there. And then this will be in the envelope and the actual money will be in the bank. I don't feel comfortable keeping a ton of money in my house because I live in a pretty shady neighborhood, let's just say. <laughs> so that's the first one. <sighs> All right. So as you can see, I'm ashamed to say that this week my weight shot up almost three pounds. So I weigh exactly 210 pounds. And part of that I have to blame on the fact that I just started my lady days and I always shoot up about five pounds when that's the case. So that means that next week, hopefully, unless I go bananas, <laughs> I will lose weight. But um, the other thing I'm gonna claim is sabotage on Gina's part. She did a food haul video and she was talking about tuna mac and cheese. So basically you make mac and cheese, you stir in some tuna, which is how I like it, but then you add peas. So I literally ran out the door and bought it and ate the whole dang box by myself. And I sent her a picture, so I'll include a picture of the reason why <laughs> I'm almost three pounds heavier. But you know, I did hormonal eating, I did stress eating. Things are starting to settle down at school and I'm hoping that now I will be able to control my eating. But this means then that another $10 goes to Gina's husband, Kevin, as my donation to help with his medical bill. He just had his second surgery for his bladder cancer. So I'm gonna be cash apping the $10 that I'm taking out of my envelope to her. So I'll show you that screenshot. And that means my envelope is empty. So y'all, I have to lose weight next week. I'm just out of control. So there is no more money in there to take out. So if I do gain next week, 
then I'm gonna have to steal that $10 from a different savings challenge. And oh boy, that might make me violent. So <laughs> let's see how it goes next week. All right, the next one is the alphabet challenge. So let's see what the wheel picks. All right, so P as in please, no more high numbers. I'm bleeding money this week. <laughs> Speaking of lady days. So that means I have one, two, three, four, five, six high numbers left after this one. So thankfully there's more low numbers than high numbers. So let me go ahead and get those 16 out. There's 16. Again, this one also has a $100 placeholder in it as well because I'm just racking up those savings. Which means I have 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. $128 saved up for my teacher wardrobe. So I've been forgetting to mention because I haven't wanted to sound like a broken record, but basically, the mystery money, I'm not sure where I'm gonna be putting that money towards. It's probably gonna go to my computer, to be honest, but for right now, since I don't know exactly how much that will be, this is from the mystery scratchers and I'm just kinda, you know, holding it. Bingo is gonna be for a little trip before school starts, so late July, early August. Alphabet challenge money is gonna be for my teacher wardrobe. And the other things are pretty straightforward, you know, for my Roth RA, my Amazon yearly account, planner money because I am a planner addict so on and so forth but let's go on and do the next one this one is the roll the die game let's grab a die and see how much this will go to oh, oh my gosh 20 bucks no so there is 20 for this I'd like to use it to pretty up my yard I am trying to put out plants that make the pollinators happy and most of them died over the winter. So $20 right there in one roll is basically one plant, my goodness. So that means now I have 20, 30, 40, 50, 55 bucks to make my garden alive with bees and butterflies and hummingbirds and bats that means i'm with the 20 dollars that i rolled i'm going to color in another monstera adansonii mine is starting to play with my emotions it's looking a lot less yellow probably because of the fact that i cut off most of the yellowing leaves so really it's just mind games i guess but it's also giving me hope that maybe it's not all the way dying and then I might make a comeback because it really is such a cool little plant love all the holes in it, it makes it look kind of like a lacy plant all right next challenge is my mystery scratch off and this one even comes with its own little coin so how cute is that this one, I'm actually gonna scratch two off, which is probably a bad idea, considering I just had a couple of high numbers. But I'd been meaning to do one every video in March and I already forgot, so now I'm playing catch up. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's see. I'm gonna color, I'm gonna, ooh, this doesn't scratch off. Let me get it out of here. So I'm gonna scratch. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm trying to get all the scratcher material off so as not to upset people <laughs> that don't like little pieces left. So 15 bucks. Ouch. Should I do two? Oh boy. All right. So I'm going to do this one since part of it's already revealed, which, which is kind of dumb because that probably means it's a big number. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 
heart attack. Yeah, so this little leprechaun is a naughty one because I have to put away 35 bucks. That's a lot of money to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's go ahead, put the scratcher away. Oh no, and I'm gonna scratch this every video pretty much for the next week and a half. So let's see how bad that's gonna be. And I guess apparently this will be for a computer because dang, this is gonna add up quick if those are all big numbers like that. So I'll put the link to her Etsy listing for this cute little item if you're interested. So here is the damage, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, wow. 94 bucks <laughs> so much money so that means that we're almost on the way to a placeholder here too almost 200 bucks dang all right ouch little leprechaun ouch oops i shouldn't have closed it because the next one is also in here so it's time to play little playing card savings challenge so the links to these are in the description box under my video and this always just gives me a cute attack when I play it because these little itty bitty cards, I just can't get over how cute they are. So come on, all right, that's pulling out easier now that there's less cards in here. I'm nervous. Whew. Oh, I've never been so happy to see an Aids of Spades. Oh no, that's a two of spades. <laughs> so let's see if you can see. Itty bitty little two of spades. So that goes right here. That's two dollars that I get to put away. So that makes me happy. I like little numbers because I'm broke. So that brings a total for this one then. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So almost at 20 bucks. Hurrah. All right, so that means the next one then is the $5 savings challenge. And since I had big numbers this week, I'm only going to put in one $5 bill because basically I burned through <laughs> my money which means I have to hustle. This motivates me to do a little bit more hustling because of the fact that what I fund this with is my side hustles. So I better get cracking on some Etsy listings. <laughs> Otherwise I won't have anything to stuff in these dang envelopes next week. All right, so that means I've got 20, 40, 65 saved up. And that does it for this week. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for my weekly cash stuffing video. Have a great Sunday.